there's two major styles of indicators. One is a plunge style, which moves back and forth, which moves that dial. And then there's a needle indicator, and they both have different uses. This is an older stare at last word. And this is activated by the needle being pushed back and forth, and those are increments of one thousandth of an inch. Same here, increments of one thousandth of an inch. This is activated by pushing it up and down. There's different uses for a plunge indicator and a needle indicator. So what I just used this for, and the main reason that we got it, was to indicate this vise so that it is parallel with the bed. It's in the same line. If this is crooked a little bit, that whenever you put your part in there and you make a slot, it's not going to be parallel with your part. So what I was able to do is mount this to the magnetic base, mount it up here, and then we're able to drag this back and forth. And if this needle has any variance in it, like it wobbles back and forth as it goes through, you know that it's not lined up. We'll put the mount in. We machined a little adapter here so that this will fit in place and then we'll be able to tighten a set screw here. The fit in here already is pretty tight and then the screw really seats it in there. I'll mount this in a stable position that doesn't move right here on the back. That's held on with a magnet. And you can see with this loose, this can move around in just about any position that I need it to. So I'm gonna line this up with the chuck jaw. Just push it a little bit. I want it right about in the middle of its travel. Right there. So now if I tap this in both directions, it's not maxing out in either way. So we can move this back and forth and look at a dial and see if it moves. As I move this across the jaw, you're looking for any movement in that dial and it's looking great, no movement. I'd say I got this accurate within about half of how you can see it starts to move up a little bit towards the line. I might need to indicate that a little bit more and then whenever it drops off, you'll see it come right back down to zero. I'm gonna make a few very light corrections. It's just only off by maybe a thousandth of an inch. Do that, see where it's moving. Looks like moving over probably about two now, so that was a bit too much. Whenever you're doing this, you gotta really tap it lightly and with a hammer that's not gonna mar the surface and so not a metal hammer like a dead blow, or in this case, this is a wooden mallet that we made. At this point, I've got it zeroed in within half a thou, which is fine for the vise. And I want to say that if you're ever using an indicator or you're indicating a vise, you always want to indicate on the fixed jaw, not on the movable jaw. And a dial indicator actually fits the same mount that we made. So I can just put that in there. With the plunge indicator set up, what it's really good for is checking flatness. So plunge, if we go straight into the part like that, tighten it up. I'm going to try to get it close to zero. Bring that over to zero. And we can run this just like that and look at and look at the indicator. Now, since we're measuring on the movable jaw, this isn't really an accurate measurement. It's going up a little bit, but something that would be really important to check is down here on the ways where this slides back and forth because a lot of times you're going to rest a part against that and it's important for that to be parallel with the rest of the machine. When I measure back and forth on the ways, it really looks spot on, maybe a tenth out, but it's really hard to tell on a thousandth indicator. So I bring it from that one and that was one thousandth above zero. Bring it on this way and that's just on one thousandth above zero. So it's right on that line. So that's accurate enough. Those are a few different things you can use the needle indicator for and the plunge indicator. They both have their specialties. If I could only have one of these, I. I think I'd go with the needle indicator. I think I can do more things, but the plunge indicator, it works great on the lathe for measuring where the carriage is, but a, a job like measuring the ways here, you wouldn't have been able to do with a needle indicator like this.